Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about honey nut squash and how you can preserve extra squash that you have on hand. Well, first of all, you can freeze it. And if you've got honey nut squash that you've cooked, you can just take that and put it in a, an appropriate freezer container or a bag and flatten that bag out, label it and put it in the freezer like it is. And properly frozen, it'll keep for about 12 months. Now, if you want to freeze smaller increments, you could put a small amount into ice cube trays and divide it up that way, or muffin tins, or you can even take a scoop of whatever amount you want, a half a cup or whatever amount, put it on a parchment paper lined sheet, put it in the freezer, and allow them to freeze and then take them out and transfer them into a freezer bag or appropriate container and then put it in the freezer and then you'll have whatever amount of prepared cooked squash that you want at one time. And again, like that, it will keep for you for up to a year in the freezer. Now, when it comes to using your frozen squash, you can just take it frozen and add it to whatever food you're going to use. You can do it that way. If you want to thaw it, an easy way to do would be to take it out the night before from the freezer, put it in the refrigerator, and by morning it should be thawed out for you or by the next day. Another way you can thaw it out is to transfer it into a microwave safe container and put it in the microwave on the thaw setting. Another way to do it would be to take your container that it's in and set it in a bowl of warm to hot tap water. I would not heat the water on the stove. Why? Because the container that it's in, let's say it's in a plastic bag, may not be designed to handle the heat that you would generate if it's on the, the stove in a pot of water that's being heated that way. It might break down the plastic in the container and then you'll have plastic in your food. You don't want that. So the safest way to do that would be to put it in a bowl of warm water and change that water out often until your squash is thawed out like you want it to be and then use it from there. Now let's say you want to put your honey nut squash in the freezer in such a way so that you can include it in a cooked dish later and you don't want it to be completely cooked. You could blanch it. I would suggest that you cut it into cubes and then blanch them in some boiling water for up to three minutes. Take them out, immediately put them in a bowl of ice water. And the rule of thumb is to leave them in the ice water as long as they were in the boiling water. So if you're blanching them for three minutes, then they're in the ice water for three minutes. Then you take them out, allow them to drain really, really well. And then if you want them to be frozen individually so that you don't have one big lump of frozen cubes, you can put them on a tray and put that tray in the freezer. I think it would be helpful to have a parchment paper lined tray, but it doesn't have to be. Put them in the freezer until they're frozen and then transfer them to whatever freezer container you want. Make sure you do label them and make sure that they are used within a year and they will be fresh and usable for you that way. Now some people like to freeze vegetables without going through the rigors of cooking them or blanching them first. Can you freeze honey nut squash raw? Well, yes you can and I would still go through the endeavor of freezing them on a tray first in the freezer and then transferring them to whatever appropriate freezer container you want, whether it's a container, a jar, or uh, a bag. Remove what air you can, put them in the freezer, but make sure they're labeled because you're not stopping the enzyme activity that you would have stopped by cooking or blanching them and they will not keep very long for you in the freezer up to three months so you want to label them for sure and make sure you use them within that time frame if you let them go longer than that the quality is not going to be as good as what you like because the enzymes will have been aging that squash as it's in the freezer so cooking really does help to extend the freezer life of your food 
Well, I do hope this helps you out, and let me know if you have any questions or comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.